Now you might be aware, but TypeScript has been gaining traction in the past few years. Some developers prefer using TypeScript all the time. Luckily for us, Next.js provides an integrated TypeScript experience out of the box. In this video, let's take a look at setting up TypeScript in our Next.js application. Step 1. Create a file called tsconfig.json in the root of your project. Step 2. Restart the development server using the yarn dev command. When you run the command though, it gives you a warning. It looks like you are trying to use TypeScript but do not have the required packages installed. Please install TypeScript and at types slash react by running this command. Let's copy and paste it in the terminal. After the packages are installed, try restarting the dev server again. Yarn dev. This time we see a different line. We detected TypeScript in your project and created a tsconfig.json file for you. And you can see here that our blank file is now populated. And if you ask me, I would say this is pretty cool. Next.js also automatically creates the next env typings file which ensures Next.js types are picked up by the TypeScript compiler. We do however see an error in the terminal. Module not found can't resolve at layout slash footer. And this is because we have created path aliases and used absolute imports. When we use TypeScript though, jsconfig.json doesn't hold good anymore. tsconfig.json is in control. But all we have to do is copy the compiler options from jsconfig and paste it in tsconfig. So copy base URL and paths. We can paste it right at the top within compiler options. If we now restart the server, our code will compile successfully. We can open localhost 3000 and our app continues to work as expected since JavaScript is still valid TypeScript. Also in tsconfig.json, strict mode is set to false by default. When you feel comfortable with TypeScript, you can set it to true. Now what are some of the Next.js specific types that you can use? To show that, I have pulled out some images from the Next.js documentation. First, we have the data fetching methods, except the first letter is uppercase. So get static props, get static paths, and get server side props are all types from Next.js. These help you when extracting properties from the context parameter or when returning an object from the function. We have two more types for API routes. Next API request for the request parameter and next API response for the response parameter. You can also create custom types for the response data like you see here with name being a string. Data is passed in as a generic to next API response. Now I'm not going to demonstrate the usage of these different types. I feel you will enjoy the power of TypeScript when you are writing the code and get that IntelliSense support and static type checking. My intention primarily was to help you understand how to set up TypeScript support in your application. Hopefully, I've done that. Alright then, in the next video, let's take a look at yet another cool feature that Next.js offers. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.